Hey, you viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome to Rise of Insanity. This is a horror game that I have on Steam in my library, and um, going to the reviews, it's not that long of a horror game, maybe about one and a half to two hours-ish, there or thereabouts. So I figured, you know what, there'd probably be a good little bit of bonus content here on the channel, especially since I've been blitzing through um, a few of my horror games recently. Obviously, a couple more Chill as Art games that I did a few weeks back. Uh, then, obviously, Hollow Live Era, and currently Cry of Fear. So I figured, you know what, uh, since this is a short one, we'll, we'll try and get through this too. Um, Steam reviews that it does have, this game, the Steam reviews, that is, that people have left. So, apparently it's not necessarily the most amazing horror, but it's decent enough, apparently, for what it is. Some of the jump scares apparently are a bit cheap, but other ones are quite good. So, I'm not kind of going into this expecting too much. But um, I'm just expecting that it might just, it, it may just be essentially a relatively decent um, horror game to play. So without further ado, new game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ourselves in there. Warning, this game contains frightening scenes and sudden increases of tension. People with a weak heart and epilepsy problems are advised not to play. The authors do not take responsibility. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, essentially, heart and epilepsy warning, ladies and gents, if you suffer from uh, either of those. This might be the time to uh, navigate away. Relax. Is Dr. Stephen Dow. Hello, Stephen. You are here because your disorders started to get out of control. You ceased to behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. You will undergo my original therapy. I will show you the film I created. And at the end, you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. And if you saw anything wrong, Hopefully the volume's loud enough for you. I did take it down slightly, but only slightly. Yeah, it seems loud enough. I took it down a bit just so I could hear myself. But I didn't take it down by much. Alright, birds, animals, nature, oh, ah. Interspersed with a bit of people, okay. What exactly are we watching? <laughs> Is that fucking Dracula then? Oh yes, Dr. Dowell. I'm definitely feeling all of my psychological stresses melting away watching this. Ugh. I don't think this is particularly calming. Okay, alright. What is going on? Vultures? Okay. Curious beginning. So I, I don't know if Stephen Dowell is the character we play as, potentially. We'll see. I guess we'll find out in due course. Um, so yeah. Um, what I'm going to do with this game is I'm going to try and record as much of it as I can this evening. And then I'm going to, uh, well, like I said, I'm going to try and record as much as I can in one sitting, essentially. And I'll probably then divide the footage up into episodes. Okay. What, are we in an office here? Can we look around? Not yet. Oh, 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 now we can. Ah. I mean, so graphically speaking, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? So it's WASD to move. There is a sprint. Uh, that's my walking speed. And there's my sprinting speed. Probably not a good sign. Oh. Okay, it's got a little, <laughs> it's a little bit uh, layers of fear-ish. What is that? Huh. Rubber duck with sad eyes. Cool. I have that, I guess. What's the deal with you there? <laughs> uh, can I open these cupboards down here? Do I have a crouch? I don't. So I don't know if this is going to be that sort of game where potentially you have to avoid monsters, but we'll see. Also, I took head bobbing off in the um, settings just before I started. Otherwise, people are probably going to end up with motion sickness. The breed... Um, the breed and birds taxid uh, taxidermy? Okay. F for text. Breeding birds and bird taxidermy by Richard Bird... <laughs> Richard Birdman. <laughs> All the best on your 7th birthday. Happy birthday, Stephen. Dad. What's not written on the back there? That's that. Okay. I see. I see. Alright. Get rid of that. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, how do I put it down? Oh, there we go. Left click. Alright, I see. Alright, wants me to have a look at the drawers, doesn't it? What's in here? Oh, yeah. This feels very layers of fear-esque. Can I not look at that? Or... 
Okay, at least I don't need to drag. Okay, right, well, I can't look at that one, but I can look at this one. Patient Edward, with two Ds. Never seen that spelling before. Preliminary interview, initial diagnosis, both scrubbed out. Testing new therapy, waiting for results. Okay, interesting. What's this here? The patient's Ooh. data. Edward, 41 years old, day September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well, as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. Hmm. I have some suspicions connected with this case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Okay. Interesting. All right, patient Edward has all kinds of conditions going on there. I see. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a friggin' Rorschach thing, isn't it? What do you see, ladies and gentlemen? I see a butterfly spreading its wings with two splotches of blood on either side. Started off nice, then suddenly went horrible. Okay, sure, why not? Yeah, the graphics are pretty good. I do like them. Um, what's in here? Ooh, a beach ball. Hello, hello. Uh, in here, maybe? Aha! Oh god. Well, why are the eyes all scratched out? What's that about? Ugh. So yeah, uh, people in the Steam reviews were saying that um, it has sort of strong layers of fear vibes, this game. God, look at the freaking lighting, though. Very nice. I do like it. Uh, look in here. Ah! <laughs> little car. Little man in a car. What an adorable little toy. It's like an old-fashioned toy that... God. It reminds me, actually, of my um, grandparents on my um, mother's side of the family. Because my granddad, who, you know, rest in peace, he's, he's dead now, but... He um, used to sort of make toys out of wood. Just not, not as a career, just as a hobby. And he had one, I remember, which was like a sort of you know, Lancaster bomber. <laughs> he, like, painted little uh, RAF symbols on it and all that. Actually, kind of good. Oh god, crime scene. Okay, well, that's not nice. Well, me thinks we'll be going in there at some point, and there'll be something horrible in there, no doubt. Hello, hello, angels and a cherub. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so we go over this way then. Hello. Look in here. Anything? No. All right. Well, nothing there. I'll leave that open. That way, I know I've uh, been in it. What's this? Uh, Psychologine. Okay, um, 9th 82, so is it 1982, I guess? Dr. Dow launches his new experimental treatment method. Okay, let's uh, look at the text. Oh, right, that's all, it, that's all it is. Okay, that's all it tells us. I was thinking it might... Can we read the thing at the bottom? The specialisation will provide advanced training, including skills relevant to health, promotion, and disease prevention. Something learned to, and then much of it is just smeared with blood. <laughs> what does it say on the right? All people. Are they problems? Will something will go with them? Something? I don't know. Okay. Interesting. All right. All people. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Well, more uh, police tape over there, over that door, which leaves us in only one place to go downstairs. I don't know why I said that. You can pretty much gather that for yourselves, can't you? Oh my god, I'm a vampire. Oh. A mother and child were murdered. Let me guess, judging by the fact that the photo is in the office, Stephen Dowell's... Um, Stephen Dowell's wife and child, maybe? A we the monster? Who knows? God, there's like another friggin' taped up thing there. So I wonder if this... Ooh, I wonder. I wonder if this whole game is just set in this house. Maybe it's about exploring the rooms one by one, do you reckon? I think that might be it. See, like, there's so many doors here that look like they're just taped up. Can't go into them. God, it does look good, though, doesn't it? Right, wants us to go in there. Yeah, can't go in there. Can go... Oh, it's just sheet music. Oh, hello. Madness Symphony. Of course. Of course it's the Madness Symphony. More sheet music. Okay, sure, sure. Into this room, then, I guess. Hopefully I'm not spinning the camera around too fast for you, ladies and gentlemen. Any pictures? Anything over here that we can look at? Oh, you see, some of those books are nice and high res enough for us to actually read the spines. Encyclopedia of Psychology, Volume 2, The Guide to Psychotherapy Practice. 
Uh, some of them are a bit small, can't quite read them. Something psychology, the intricate mind, Encyclopedia of Psychology Volume 2, and the Guide to Psychotherapy Practice. Oh, I love those books so much that I decided to get them twice. The Guide to Psychotherapy Practice, Origins of Cognition, the Intricate Mind again, yeah. God, I even got the same encyclopedia fucking three times over. Gosh, I just loved that encyclopedia so much. I decided I just have to get two more copies. They were on offer and all that. It was a buy one, get two more. Ooh. Dear Mrs. Dowell, I'd like to remind you that you gave me a free hand in the development of one part of the garden. Therefore, my decision was to mainly plant dahlias. I've accentuated them with clematis flowers. I surrounded everything with white poppies. You'll be delighted, Edward, with one D. Somebody misspelt his name, and that's why he flipped and went crazy. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, it's very retro looking, some of the technology we've seen so far. Well, the um, TV's just on the fritz. Okay. What are we looking for? Oh, a nice kitchen. Hello, hello. Got your bowl of fruit there. Can we look at that? No. Hmm. Nice Venetian blinds over your windows. Okay. Hello, can we look at... Please turn off the TV. It's going to be stormy. Hmm? Sorry, who said that? Was that the ghost of my wife? Cookies. Eat cookie. Right, well, the TV's doing something or other. It's that there. Sweetheart, remember that you are on duty today. Okay. I will keep watch for intruders, don't you worry. I'll get the shotgun out and I'll shoot anyone who comes near the house, including the postman. Fuck the postman, most of all. <laughs> don't know why I'm making that joke. Okay, well, there's the sink. Can we go in the fridge? Theodore Dowell. Uh, English B, Mathematics A, Science A, P, B, Ethics A. Signature of parent, Susan Dowell. Right, well, Susan Dowell's our wife, then. Theodore must be the child. Interesting. Oh, yes, young Theodore is good at uh, ethics and all that. All right. Oh, jeez, that was loud. Oh. Telephone. Okay, where is telephone? Is it out in hall? Telephone. Ah, it's there. Got an old freaking rotary phone. Am I well, with Dr. Stephen, Dowell? Stephen, you need to say yes or no. Oh, okay. It's gone to a loading screen. Okay, okay. Interesting start. I like the visuals. I am, uh. Hmm. I'm curious to see. Ooh. I was to say, I'm curious to see where it goes from here. There's another dictaphone. Patient. Edward, 41. Day, September 11th. Patient Sorry, has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. Mm. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor, and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. It is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. Okay, let's go and ask Abraham then. Why not? Well, this is a change of scenery. Whereabouts are we? This must be our office at work or something. Anything in here? What's this? It is nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for identification purposes. To the morgue then? Sure, why not? Little tiny little syringes in your cabinet there. What's this one? Oh god, this is a big one. Dear Abraham, I apologise for not having written so long. I was occupied with family and work matters and did not have enough time. I trust that you're okay. How is your wife, Berta? I currently have a case of a certain patient, Edward, some surname presumably smeared. He's 41 years old. He's reporting problems with sleeping and memory. I noticed he seemed to have certain minor ticks. There are times when he suddenly and strangely moves the small finger of his left hand. He told me about a nightmare that's been haunting him for some time. It's the only dream that he's able to remember. He told me he had attempted to kill his wife and child in that dream. However, he was not able to do it. He constantly wakes up before the very end. It's very strange because Edward is actually a bachelor and does not have any children. What do you think of this? My assumption is that these are the beginnings of schizophrenia or a multiple personality disorder. However, you're the only one who has more experience in psychopathology. As regards Stephen Dowell. Okay. Interesting. So we're getting to the bottom of what the deal is with Edward. Okay. Hmm. 
Why America went dry. Alcohol effect is a drug effect. The alcohol that every alcoholic liquor contains is a narcotic drug. It injures body cells, especially brain and nerve cells, first in their action, later in form. Was it disorders for a short time or permanently continued? Nerve control of the body, reason, will, self-control. <laughs> Somebody made a spelling mistake there. Morals, the alcoholic is a drug addict. Complex adaptive system model, materials and morphology, detectors, raw system effectors. That's nah, some psychology nonsense. <laughs> no, I'm not rubbishing the field of psychology at all. I'm not going to be that interesting. My god, I loved the Encyclopedia of Psychology so much that I bought several more copies to go on the shelf in my office. Good lord, must have had one heck of a sale on them. Hello, who's out here? Ah, St. Jonah Hospital? Okay. St. Jonah. There we go. Waste paper makes containers for blood plasma. Save it and help save a life. Here's Victory Waste Paper Campaign. Nothing in there. Oh, joy. Oh, lovely. There's a body through there. Either that or a very smelly mannequin, who knows. What does it say? She may look clean, but... Pick ups, good time girls, prostitutes, spread syphilis and gonorrhea. You can't beat the Axis if you get VD. Wow, when is this poster from? <laughs> this is an outdated poster, that one, jeez. Uh, number six. Ooh. Examination room, maybe? Ooh. Well, they got the eye chart there. And Def Potec. How much do I weigh? I can't look. Uh, eyes. Okay. What's in here? Drugs, bandages. Give me drugs. Vision can be saved. 50% of babies born with syphilis have impaired eyesight. Consult a reputable physician. Department of Correction. Alright. What's that there? City News. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. It's got to be Stephen Dowles, right? Oh, God. Pressed uh, that by mistake. Okay. Me thinks that either Stephen went crazy and killed them, or is it going maybe Edward went crazy? Perhaps. Who knows? Alright. Could go through there. Oh god, what's going on with this one? Why is that all blocked up? Why has that just got tons of furniture in it? Okay. Okie doke. Well, looks like we can't go through there. Because that's blocked off by a gurney, which, you know, normally I've. Oh, Jesus. Why does it look all burnt and horrible? Interesting. Alright, well, we go over here then. Up the elevator. Where are we headed? I just mashed it. Just mashed the controls with my hand. Of course, a noisy elevator this one, isn't it? Or a lift, as we in the UK say. Ah. Okay, we're, oh, the morgue, of course. Oh, lovely. Well, doesn't this look now? Nice? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that is nasty. So I haven't got the brightness to the recommended setting. I've got it slightly higher, because obviously, you know, YouTube, I want to make sure you guys can actually see whatever's going on. Oh, there was a figure up there. I saw that. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, God, is that? Another rubber duck. Thank you. It's got to be a bonus. Why is there a dead bird in here? Okay, you know, let's go towards where the figure was then, ladies and gents. Um, is it worth me taking the brightness up a bit more? Because it's actually still pretty dark on screen, which probably means it's going to be very dark in the video. Um, here. Let me just... Eh, can I fucking... There we go. Like that, maybe? How's this going to look? Mm, marginally better, but... I don't know. Uh, I can take it up a bit further if necessary. How do you even go in here, figure that I saw before? Place is blocked up. Well, I say it wasn't a normal person. Maybe it was a ghost. It was a JHOST. What's that written on the wall there? A key to the heart is located where your journey began. Okay, sure. Oh. Oh, we need a code. Okay. We need a code for the lock. Just gotta find it, I guess. What's that? There's another Rorschach thing. I see a flying saucer with several tentacles wielding swords underneath it. What do you see, ladies and gents? Mm, picture there of a girl? Okay. Curious. In there. Ah. What is that? Oh, it's a little choo-choo train with a face. Hmm. Why is that in there, though? Choo-choo. Okay. Key to a heart is located where your journey began. 
or back upstairs, or in the office? You tell me to go back? Is that what you fucking tell me to do? Oh! Okay, here come the jump scares, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so we are meant to go back. I guess. Does it program that little jump scare in? Okie doke, back we go. Away from the horrible morgue. Take me upstairs. Ugh. Just drunk down the remainder of my tea. Block A. Ground floor. God, why does it make so much noise? Back in my office. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Who let the birds in? Close the friggin' oh god. Well, oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, well here come the jump scares. They're starting to occur. Oh, and um, someone dropped all the drugs all over the floor. Drugs and bandages or whatever. Alright, well, it's not my duty to clean this up. I'm a doctor, I'm not the cleaner at all. Yes, you want me to go in there. Hang on, did this door open? No, it didn't. Alright, back to the office then. At least it's like, hey, you need to be in here. Thank you very much. Key? Is that a key on the desk there? That's now magically appeared? It is. Check eyesight room 6. Sure. I can go and get my eyesight checked. Why not? Let's go. A E I O U B D S. Wait, no. <laughs> Check my eyesight. I'm here. H A S six two nine A B T D. Actually, I'm cheating a bit. You're supposed to be actually stood away from it in order to read it. H A S six two nine A B T D P E C F D E D F C Z P F E L O P Z D D E F P O T E C. And I can't really read the lines after that. There we go. Right, where's the key? Oh. No, oh, no way, that's that. We've seen that already. What am I looking for? Why are you trying to show me? Ladies and gentlemen. There's a ghost. So what do you want to see? Can I look at this? Hmm. Oh, 629. It's a code, isn't it? 629. Okay, God. Yep, yep, yep. I was being a bit slow then. Alright, 629. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Even though you can't hurt... Uh, you can't... I think said you can't hurt me. Even though you can't help me. Because, you know... Is recording in advance and all that. 629. 629. 62. Oh, God. Lights. Stop. Oh, wait, what? We're going upstairs? Okay. Bloody hell, Stephen. You put. Oh. Wait, no. Block A again. Can someone come out and take a look at this elevator, please? Oh, no. We're back here. Thank God. I don't really have, like, a torch or anything, do I? Who's going to jump out at me now? Who's going to be like, oh, hi, Red? How are you doing down there, old brother? Oh, hi, Stephen. It's me, your old colleague, Dr. Bob. <laughs> From the urology ward. I've been dealing with loads of parents... Pa and it's a parent's patients, even. I've been dealing with loads of patients with piss problems. Alright, 629. 6. Oh, shit. 2. 9. There we go. See? Oh, achievement locked. I check. See, I'm smart. When I want to be. Oh. Okay. You know what? What's going on out there? Ooh. Beg your pardon? You want to run that by me again? God, why is it so dark in here? Good lord. Well, here's the epilepsy warning, ladies and gentlemen. Flashing lights and all that. But, you know, you had your epilepsy warning earlier. Um, oh god, what's this? Oh jeez. Okay, what are we looking at here? No match. Right. Ooh. Yeah, it has got real laser f fear vibes. Who's knocking on the door? Nobody thought so. All right. Is that Bob? Is that Bob from Urology? Come to complain about his patients with piss problems? No. Oh, wait a minute. That fell over. <laughs> I don't even see. <laughs> I was thinking about Bob and his uh, piss problem. Patients! Hey, how's it going? Well, this is a bit nasty in here, isn't it? Can I, can I leave, please? Can I just go? Whoa! Hello! How you doing, baby? Did you see Bob earlier? He was coming down talking about his patients with piss problems. Oh god, right, we're somewhere. Lots of bird pictures. Somebody really loves birds. Um, oh, what? Wait, what? Bird goes down, I have to wiggle the mouse? Is that a clue? Feels like it. Am I going to let that thing out? And then I'm going to have to do something with it? Something with the freaking bird? Ring the bird's neck. I don't know. Eat the bird. Oh. 
what the shit is going on? Ugh. What's happening? Oh god. Oh god, do I have to aim with the mouse? I think I do. I see, I'm guiding the bird. Oh, why am I guiding the bird? Okay, sure. We're guiding the bird through the depths of hell. I see you, birds. Okay, over here it is. Wait, what's that there? No, no, that's nothing. Oh, there was like a picture or something there. Hello. What is deal? What is going on here? Where is Satan? That's a lot of birds. Slowing down, though. Um... All right, birds. Calm down. Hello? Jesus, that's bright. We're going in, are we? Do it. A gym unlock flying school one. Yeah, it's really like layers of fear. Some of the stuff that happened in that one. Is it literally going in the direction of Edward killed our family? Something like that. And that's why the rooms are all taped off. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, right. This is the main menu. Looks a bit. Okay. Sure. There's a bench. Is it going to be that straightforward a plot, though? Or will there be some twist? Will it turn out that Stephen was actually Edward all along and murdered his own family? I don't know. Ooh, well, that's a nice greenhouse over there. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Let's have a look in the greenhouse. The Arboretum. Anything in here? Can we go in here? Oh, it's locked. Maybe we need to find a key. Up there. What was I hearing? It sounded like a baby. Oh, run away from the baby. I want to run away from my parental responsibilities. Okay, over here then. The bridge. Huh. Oh, it's a lake. God, oh, I thought it was like a weird ravine or something. I realise, no, it's water. <laughs> oh, hey, over there. I see you in the distance. Were you digging a grave or something? Okay, sure. What's the deal with the grave? There's a very grave situation that we find ourselves in. Okay. You shouldn't be... Oh! Oh, if I could throw that at me, you dick! Good lord. Oh, like an asshole. Who throws a shovel? Come on now. Why'd you do that? Oh, and a little bonus ducky. There we are. There we are. <laughs> it's my impersonation of the uh, sound it makes. It sounds more like a slightly off uh, kilter clown honking horn, doesn't it? Like that. What's your best impersonation of a uh, clown honking that you can do, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, I'll give you a few more samples, just so, uh, you know. I'll, I'll go first and all that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd be spending my Sunday evening making stupid noises? It's not even dialogue, it's just not even... Go! Oh, hello! Well, he didn't like the clown honking noises, clearly. Which is why I'm going to do even more of them. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like a clown honking, does it? <laughs> Like that. Hello, 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 hello. It's Dr. Stephen Dowell here, here to do some clown honking noises in your greenhouse. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, I'm not taking this seriously. What am I doing? I'm probably undermining all the horror. Who's crying in there? Stephen's here to do the clown noises. Ha <laughs> There we go. Unlocked. Kitty! Where are you? Play with me. How about no, you little shit, wherever you are? <laughs> I'm just here and interested in making clown noises. <laughs> right, you know what? This joke's probably not even funny. Um, yeah, what am I looking at then? Ah, uh, Where is the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it that what is dreamt, or that what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control of the dream that does not come, but haunts you? Eddie. Hmm, curious. Certificate of Death. Oh god. Name of disease Theodore Dowell, age 7, sex male, place of death, family home. Cause of death, strangulation in sleep. Uh oh. Edward, is that you? Or is that me? Daddy, why did you allow him? Well, allow him into the house. Allow him to come and work. <laughs> oh, me? What, what the. 
Oh, piss, there's a telephone. There we go, so I had a landline installed in the garden, just for the hell of it. Whenever people ring me, I pick up the receiver, put it to my face, and the first thing I say is... <laughs> <laughs> no. Daddy. He's here. He's back. Oh god. I let a murderer into the house, didn't I? Crap, I think we have monsters, don't we? Shut the door! I think we need to go this way. Almost out of bullets. Okay. Yeah. Good. Let's shut these doors. Oh god, it's coming through. Wait, shut it, shut it, shut it. Can't bolt it. Oh, can't. oh shit, that's bad. Ah, oh, crap. Shit. Uh, pistol. Crap. 